the winner will get a girl pregnant what? and uh, the loser will have to take care of the kid. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's the that's craziest league I've ever was, heard in my life. That's why I was life. like, yeah, that can't happen. <laughs> Welcome to the final score. I'm your host, Harry Obama J. Got my boy here, Josh Amadou, aka the Heartbreak Kid. What's up, brother? How you doing, man? I'm feeling great. What about you, man? Hey, I can't complain. I actually went to the gym today, so I'm feeling great. You know, we gotta get these abs up. Now I know summer is about to be over, but that one means I stop working now because I'm getting ready for the fall. You know, so wait, 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 wait. Nah, that's up? one of my biggest pet peeves. Oh my god, here we go. So man. we just started. We this show. have to. So my thing is. You're gonna get people work out to get their body right yeah, for the summer. Yeah, because that's when you take your shirt off, you go to the beach, and then you flex. Isn't that supposed to be like a routine thing to keep yourself healthy? Look, man, I like to look good. All right, so yeah, I want to keep. I want to be. I want to be fair. I want to show my abs winter. When? When? When, when you gonna show? When? How you gonna show your abs in the winter? Go ahead. To, when you trying you to? Taking, you taking your shirt off during the winter? Come yeah, well, on, I'm please, show, man. I'm show, show, I'm show my, show my shirt. Right, show, show, your abs, show your abs right now. Let me show you my abs, man. Yeah, yeah please, on, man. That's what I thought. Josh, tell them about yourself, man. Well, I grew up in the Bronx. Shout out to the Bronx. Okay, There's a BX. difference. Let's 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 have a real difference. The difference between the South Bronx and the North Bronx. Okay. I'm from Uptown. Okay, Uptown. Is that Fat Joe or what? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Like Terror Squad? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. Shout out to the Terror Squad. Don't, yeah. don't know any of y'all, but I listen to some music. It's all good. Yeah. So, a little bit about more about myself. I used to play football back in Buff State. I used oh. to play right guard. I used okay. to be that, that nice big boy. They used to okay. pull. So, when, okay. you see, when them linebackers see me, they hate me. So okay. There you go. Give me a nice smack. Mm. Well, you went to what school? I went to Buffalo State, man. Buffalo State University? Oh, okay. Well, I went to <coughs> engine, engineering school. You know what I mean? <laughs> but like I said, when I played football, it was DBs all day, man. DBs, DBs. All right, the, the hardest position in the NFL. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh man. But let's just let's get straight into it. Um, you, growing up, did you ever watch wrestling? Of course I did. Man, you look like a wrestler, bro. You know, like you used to you used to play wrestling with uh with my older brother. Man, he used to get in trouble because of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me, my brother off the bed. You exactly, know what I'm saying? Yep, Swanton yeah, bomb, yeah, times, all of that, man. man. Good Come times, on, man. Good times. Come on, man. Let me ask you a question. Who's on your Who's on your Mount Rushmore? In, in 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 WWE, I guess. Like, if you were to say who's the 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 ones who paved the way, like who would you pick? First of all, WWF and WWE practically the same thing, um, but different eras though. Different way, different eras. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Um, I'll say just putting it all together, Mount Rushmore. I gotta put in Jeff Hardy. Who? Wait, Jeff, what? What? Jeff Hardy. What? Jeff Hardy. Go on. If anybody Go. watches him, you know you're gonna have a great show. Hey guys, put it in the chat, man. This is, start off the show with Jeff Hardy as your Mount Rushmore. You gotta put him in there. You got to. I, I'm interested to hear who number two is, man. All right, go ahead. All right, so then we got Stone Cold Steve Austin. Okay, okay. Yeah, funny fact about Stone Cold, man. Watching him all the time, people don't know. Like I actually mirrored my walk, like Stone Cold. Like when you watch Stone Cold walk down the aisle, when he's coming in, he looks to his left, looks to his right. Watch next time you see me walking, you see. All right. All right, so I'm gonna look at you next time. I'm gonna pause, see pause. You. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that was your number two. Who's your number three? Uh, obviously you got to put the Rock. Okay, the Rock is like by far the most he's famous. He's big time. No, he's big time. He's like big he's time. The famous wrestler that ever came out of the WWE. Mm, debatable, Vince. debatable. Who else? Well, I'm gonna give you mine, but I'm gonna hear yours first. So you got Hardy, Stone Cold. Now is Stone Cold over the Rock, or is this is this any order or no? That's the thing. Who won in that? Who won in that battle? I see Stone Cold did. Okay, Stone, Stone Cold, Cold won what? that battle. Stone Cold, what? Stone Cold, okay. Mm -hmm. And who's your fourth? John Cena. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Well, you have it. That was <laughs> that's Josh's uh, Mount Rushmore of, of wrestling. Honestly, look, mine is non-debatable because obviously I that was my era. I watched a lot of wrestling when I was growing up. Um, number one is Hulk Hogan because if there's no uh -huh. Hulk Hogan. There is no WWF or WWE. Uh, number two. Which, which, wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Which, Go ahead. which version, though? Both versions. Yellow and red and the black and white. What do you mean? Uh, Bro, you weren't watching the Hulk Hogan when, he was when you were growing up? 
well technically oh, that's right. you, you were born like what like like 96 like 1990 <laughs> 2000 yeah 96 man another two, another Jesus 2000 Christ. man that's, that's shout out to the 90s young. babies out here man yeah we're getting up we're getting up there wait get, so you don't, you don't agree hulk hogan should be in the mount rushmore he should he should Both well versions just I'm because about. well let's really think about it like the only reason why i say that is because he's more of like he was there at the beginning that's why i say what? hollywood hogan did he really had impact though what okay yes check checks out if there's no hollywood hogan there's no hollywood rock like hulk hogan paved the way not just for wrestling and his his historic battles with with all these wrestlers but like yo he's the one who branched out into movies he was in rocky three i believe with thunder lips he had his own show after wrestling with that whole uh something thunder i forget the, the name of it and honestly look my number one is hulk hogan mm -hmm. the black and white yellow and red definitely he paved the way my man had tv shows he was he had his own movie he, had, he was featured in movies this guy was big time like he made a lot of money for wwe and paved the way for all these players um wrestlers uh let's see number two like you said mr rock himself my man is big time you know like my man has so many versions of himself with hair without hair he, he was dominant Yo, you know what i'm man. saying um plus everybody was raising their eyebrows at that time That's you know fact. Uh, and number three for me, I would say Stone Cold Steve Austin because he was that dude. You have to put him in there. Honestly, like to. the beard thing, we all did the beard and pour it on ourselves. I got in trouble so many times when I was Facts. young. I know you're Nigerian too, so your mom definitely. My mom beat my you. Ass. Yeah, 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 for sure. My dad. She too. thought I was trying to be a be a junk every time I went to <laughs> like use. I used to have like the malt, the malt Guinness. Oh yeah, break malt. Thinking you think you're uh, drinking beer? <laughs> yeah. Yo, shout out to malt drinkers out there. Um, the small ones, right? Yeah. <laughs> Um, and honestly, it, no question. Number four on my list is The Undertaker because honestly, the, the I just forgot about him. Raising from the dead, like he, The Undertaker changed the game. Didn't even say much when he was wrestling. We just knew it was it was big time when he when he came to the ring and did his thing. I got a question for you. Go ahead. So, do you? How did you feel when his record got broken? Ah, uh, you see the thing that, oh, see I about feel, about his WrestleMania record. Yeah. All records are meant to be broken, honestly, not, right? Not that. See, the thing about wrestling too is, is it's it's like the MJ and LeBron debate. Like you have your heroes, right? Like all mm -hmm. these wrestlers, you you growing up seeing them win, and you think, oh, your heroes is gonna go into the sunset and never lose. Well, that's the business because what happens is when he lost, who 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 now came behind him? You know what I'm saying? Uh, who he fight? Was it John Cena? Or who was it? Nah, it was um some. Dweeb. Oh um, my god, he lost to a bum. Yeah. Well, anyways, I mean, honestly, it was Brock Lesnar. <laughs> yeah, Brock Lesnar. Oh my god. You see what I'm saying? But it paved the way for Brock, right? And then mm -hmm. he eventually, I think, he went to the UFC. Got. But like, messed up after that. But like, it's like it's like the LeBron James and the MJ debate. Like, it's not really about who's the best. It's who's the more liked. Like, who? It's a popularity contest. What it's do you mo think? Mostly, like, who left more of an impact? That's what you're mostly saying. Well, well okay. Let me ask you that question. Between LeBron and MJ. Who left more impact? Obviously, it was MJ. Is it obviously? Yeah, you wear you wear his shoes. Okay. Uh, think about, it, think about, it, think about, it, think about, it, think about. It. Have you ever owned a pair of Jordans? I I have, I have. How many LeBrons have you ever owned? I didn't personally <laughs> own LeBrons because at this point exactly. I wasn't I wasn't really wearing sneakers like that. I did buy my cousin some LeBrons, you know. Um, but again. We're talking about shoes. I get the whole shoes, but people who wear stuff that they don't even know who the players are. You know what I'm saying? You got kids who were born 10 years ago rocking Jordans. Do you, they don't even know why they rock Jordans. They, they rock Jordans because everybody else rocks Jordans. I think so, most kids would know who Jordan was back then. Yeah, yeah. Was, YouTube yeah. University is great. Yeah, but what I'm like, saying is, like, people can't say, oh, the, the MJ had more of an impact on LeBron because of his sneakers. I get it's a big uh, proponent on it, but... Yo, LeBron's that dude, man. When LeBron came in, people were like, yo, like, first of all, the hype was so high. Like, mm -hmm. there's nothing he could do that, like, like it, it was like to the ceiling. He had to win championships. At the, coming out of high school, he had to win championships, break all these records. My man has consistently been doing that since day one. Exactly. I think his first game, he scored like 20 points against Sacramento. Mm -hmm. You know, and like, he has four rings. He owns the most points in NBA history 
Now, don't get it twisted. I'm I'm a I'm an MJ fan. Like MJ was my guy. He's like my hero. But this goes back to what I'm saying, right? Is this get does this goat debate more about stats, accolades, or is it just a popularity contest? I think it's more on stats because when you really look about look on it, like LeBron has basically is either top five or top three in every category that you think of. Exactly. Points, steals, okay. rebounds, right, playoff wins. Like he he already like just demolish all the greats when it comes to like playoff wins like he's up in there alone just right. like right there like he's in every like stack category right like that's okay so that's why so so if Le, if lebron's in every category then why is it that people are just so so quick to say oh no he's not better than mj mj you know he played you know all the games he, he didn't take a day off and you know why nostalgia people can't let go of the past but that's what i'm saying though mj is their hero mm -hmm. so no matter what lebron does if lebron had 15 championships ah uh, but mj had this and it's all styles it's all don't let go of my hero because when they were growing up that's who they saw that's what yeah exactly you know that's why kids like kobe so much now i get it kobe's a bad boy shout out to kobe and the mamba family right but this stuff was terrible who kobe's ah uh, okay i'm gonna stay quiet no, like to, to be honest, like yo, right, 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 yo, guys, <laughs> right in the chat, what you guys think about my man just said? Go ahead, I'm gonna let you finish. Go ahead. Well, how I say that is like, what we really meant by that is like, when you talk about like percentage, shot percentage, okay, it's kind of like it's really, it's really, really bad. Yeah, they're gonna fact check you, but just just be yeah, prepared. Yeah, fact check right now. <laughs> Go ahead. Man, come on, like he's not really. He's, he's he's one of the all-time clutch players but bugging he's You're gonna bugging. he's gonna score he's gonna make sure he gonna like every time he's you try to make a shot he probably missed like okay five of them okay I mean, okay look you're down by five points mm -hmm. between lebron or kobe you're down by five points it's fourth quarter there's like three minutes left who are you, who are you gonna go to lebron or kobe you're talking about percentage you're talking about who right okay fourth quarter who are you going to Fourth quarter. Like, who do you trust the most to hit the shot? I'm gonna trust Kobe because. Okay, how? I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna tell you why. There's a thing called clutch buckets. Okay. Yeah. So when it comes to clutch buckets, I'm giving it to Kobe. But during the whole game, he might be going like he probably missed like ten shots. Then he probably make like five. That's why I say those stats be terrible sometimes. Like you. Oh, go so you're like, saying he takes a lot of shots and he a misses. lot of shots. And okay. He misses them. Okay, but you do know LeBron has the most clutch shots in the NBA history, right? He does. You do know but LeBron does, right? He does. Okay, okay. I just want to say that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so so you said Kobe doesn't have the stats, then you choose him, and then you go with LeBron. Okay. Just making sure that's clear, you know? Uh-huh. Okay. Um, so going back to LeBron and, and MJ, so let me ask you that same question between those two. Who are you going to pick to take the last shot? LeBron has the most clutch shots now, so don't just give me that quick that quick answer. Think about that. Which version of LeBron are we getting? Oh, that's a good question. That's a great question. Ooh, which LeBron was the most clutch? I think Cavs LeBron was the most clutch coming if that's coming from coming from Miami. Coming from Miami, LeBron, because that to me was man, Miami LeBron. But what was type good of Jordan too. are we getting though? I would say nineteen. The the, the first three Pete Jordan. The first three Pete? First three Pete Jordan. That's when he was like skinnier. He was blazing speed. He had, you know. Pfft. Nah. Nah, I'll, I'll take LeBron. Taking LeBron. Yeah. My uh Cavs LeBron coming out of Miami. Yeah. Okay. No, nah, yeah. he was a freight train. I mean He was unstoppable. Bro, that block against By far. that bro block against Igudala. He scored 45. Pfft. Yeah. I mean let me let me, let me let me tell you a real thing about that. That entire series. Uh, let's, 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 let, me just, let me just back and forth. Like, All right, go ahead, go ahead. The go reason ahead. why going to say even won that's that first series against the Cavs because that whole team was plagued with injuries. Just being very honest. Which wait, which Golden State team? The one that just got their first championship. The, that like ignited that dynasty. Right, right. Okay. So you're saying the reason why the Cavs beat them was because people were hurt? No, no, no. I'm talking about. 2015 when okay. he just came and he got, got the straight to the finals got you okay if they didn't if that team was fully healthy 
they would have won. Who were they missing? They missed they missed Kyrie. Kyrie guy had a knee injury. Nah, I think that's Kevin Love had was a, that year one or year two? Year one. Year one Kyrie was hurt? Yeah. Yeah. And then Ghost they beat LeBron? Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. That, but that following when he came back, it was, yeah. it was different business. That, okay. That, it, that ignited the fire. Nah, facts. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Honestly, man, LeBron, man, that run, people don't give him credit. Like, to me, LeBron had two breakout moments in his career. The first one was against the Pistons when he scored like a, a bajillion points in the fourth quarter. Just nobody could stop him. That was like a story of himself. Like that that was similar to the Jordan run when he had Jordan had all those playoff wins. Like mm -hmm. LeBron against the former champs, the Pistons, who weren't getting beat. They had everybody. And LeBron came over and took over. The next breakout of his career was I think it was game. I want to say game five or six. I think it was game five or four against the Boston Celtics. You remember that one? Yeah. Where he scored like 40 points or something. They was down, they was down 3-2. They were down 3-2. They were, yeah, they were down 3-2. He went to the Celtics home. Yeah. And just went banana, bananas. Like yeah. this guy was, cause he knew he's the biggest guy on the court. I'm just gonna go to the hole and not be stopped. That to me was when LeBron was like, all right, I'm not losing anymore. That was a great, that was a great dynamic duo back then. Uh, oh, oh my Lebr God. LeBron and Dwayne Wade or? Yeah. Okay, LeBron, Dwayne Wade. Kobe, Shaq, Jordan, or Pippen? Who's the best duo? Give me the give me the rank. Who, who are you starting? Who are you benching? And who who are you getting rid of? By the way, this is this is really great. Um, fans' perspective. Honestly, my background is not in basketball, but I'm a fan, so go ahead. I'll say Shaq and Kobe. You gotta understand what Shaq was. By far the most dominant big I ever witnessed. In my I'm, life. Not, I'm not gonna lie. I actually stopped watching basketball because of Shaq. Like it got to the point where we, you already knew the ending. You just have to watch the whole thing to see how it ended. You know what I mean? Like back down, back down, turn around, dunk, point at you, and run back. Like I got tired of the basketball. Do you know how I first saw what Shaq really did? It was a game against the Magic. That was the first time I ever seen a man physically break a rim. I was like, I, I remember that day. I was like, I literally just came. I literally was just about to go to bed. It was an eight o'clock game. I think they was playing. I forgot the team that was playing. All I seen was this man just went crazy, boom! And all of a sudden, you see the whole, the whole, um, the whole rim, the whole like. Oh, you talking about Magic days? You talking about Magic Shack? Yeah, but. That's when he was breaking rims, uh, breaking backboards left and right. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Honestly, again, good, great start. Because honestly, Shaq... See, this is the thing about Shaq and Kobe, man. Because people could talk about Kobe this, Kobe that. And I get Kobe. Don't get it twisted, guys. I get it. Kobe was a bad boy, too. I hated watching Kobe actually growing up. But if Kobe didn't have Shaq, he's not winning the championship. That's a fact. He's, he may have won. May have won. Cause his drive was just too good, but without those, without Shaq, those three years, nah, I, I don't exactly. think he would ever win a championship. Yeah, you know, because it's, it's it's different when you have that insurance. You know, that guy that can just feed the, the ball and he can do whatever he wants. Mm -hmm. So, it, it, look, my final score for that is definitely Shaq and Kobe. So go ahead. What's your number two? Next, who are you benching? I'm benching. Yeah, I gotta bench Jordan and Pippen. You're crazy. Yeah, you're crazy. Yeah, I'm not. I'm done. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. So who else am I gonna cut? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Who am I gonna cut? It's, I gotta, it's, I gotta it's, put them. It's Shaq and Kobe. Mm -hmm. It's MJ Pippen. Yeah, Dwayne Wade and LeBron. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Two three peats. You benching that? Oh 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 oh, oh you're oh you're benching. Oh I'm sorry. You're benching. Got you. Okay. Yeah. Got you. My bad. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. What else I gotta. I gotta. Okay, I gotta okay. start. Damn, so so you're cutting LeBron and and Dwayne Wade. Yeah. Okay. 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 Nah, nah, that's, that's good. I, ah. Who would you who would you choose then? The thing about Shaq and Kobe, although they were dominant as hell, two three peats, two, two. Mm -hmm. Bro, you know how hard it is a three peat? Think about this, right? You go through a whole season, eighty two games. Then you gotta play what another sixteen games, right? You gotta play like another sixteen games. Mm -hmm. 
and then in the summertime you might be playing team usa or whatever and then you kind of come back and do the same so they play way more games than any of these players two <laughs> times twice two three peats and be consistent and win six rings and mm -hmm. also get along to win six rings i'm starting jordan and pippen i'm benching kobe and, and shaq and i'm getting rid of dwayne wade and lebron because they had a short stint even though it was exciting to watch they lost to they lost to dallas like what are we but talking about uh they lost to dallas yeah they did yeah they did and i was like and that was by far unacceptable from them but the only reason why i say that is because um that team that like the bulls had was really 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 stacked even when jordan yeah it's stacked when you have jordan as the insurance policy and you have everybody else i mean people think about it hold on sorry for cutting you off but think about it when he left they were still in the playoffs they were still playoff contention okay take away take away shaq take away shaq and kobe what do you guys what do you, what what does that team got devin george nope rick fox nope <laughs> that man is an actor <laughs> <laughs> he got game we all saw him doing his business um who else who's a point guard who's a point guard of that team Derek fisher Derek fisher oh my god yeah didn't didn't that man didn't he want to fight Matt man barnes because he's like, yeah he I'm, took not his fight. Fight I'm not gonna say his name uh but yeah we all know the business um no i agree like i get it you know you take away yes but again two three peats I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm so. So let me ask you a question, right? Because we have this segment called the Hall of Fame versus the Hall of Names, right? Mm -hmm. And I, I saw who's going to be eligible for the next round of Hall of Famers. But quick question: What do you think about this for this round of Hall of Famers? You so, had Greg Popovich, even though he's still coaching. I don't know how you even become a Hall of Famer. I thought you have to be retired. You had uh, Tony Parker. You had Dwayne Wade. Who else was on? Who was Dirk? Dirk Nowitzki. Oh, he's a bad boy. Who else? It was a, it was I, a think it was, I think it was Yao Ming. Yao Ming? Yeah. Did he? Yao Ming's a Hall of Famer? Look it up. Jesus. Well, let me ask you a question, right? So, I mean, what was your thoughts about this this round of Hall of Famers? Did they deserve to be in the Hall of Fame? Well, Dirk, yeah. By far, yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm not going to dispute that. Dirk was a bad Dwayne boy. Wade? Of course. I'm not going to dispute that. He was the next Jordan. They were saying he was the next Jordan. He made his own career. Facts. So you yeah, can't, can't get mad at it. Shout out to the Flash. He is uh -huh. like, to me, he's like the second best shooting guard. Second best. Second best. Second best shooting guard. Yeah, Jordan. Wait a minute. Well, so, whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry, third, third, third. You gotta, you gotta respect, respect for Kobe. That's what I was about to say. There isn't Kobe Bryant. Yeah, uh, sorry for Kobe. Wait, wait. So you tell me he was better shooting than Tracy McGrady? Isn't Tracy McGrady a shooting guard too? Yeah. Or is it small? Would, would you put? Tra you put? T would you? You will take Dwayne. You will take T Mac over Dwayne Wade. Yo, let's just be real. T Mac is the most underrated player. When you compare the greats, people don't know. First of all, T Mac was like six nine, six ten, leaping from the free throw, shooting shots. My man scored like fifteen points in five in five seconds. Terrible defense. <laughs> five, five terrible defense. Bro, let's just let's just give the respect to those who people are just not aware of. I get Dwayne Wade. I'm not going to dispute none of that, but hey, Tracy McGrady was a bad boy. But okay, I'll give you that. Dwayne Wade, okay. All right. Yeah. You know, okay. So, again, what's your thoughts? Do they all deserve to be in the Hall of Famer? Let me ask you a question. Is, is Tony Parker really a Hall of Famer? No. Be real. See, no. Like, no. come on. No. Like, no. guys, what are we doing? Like, no. I thought the Hall of Fame was like, yo, this is a player that not only changed the game had an impact in the game but he was scoring like 25 to 30 a game it's hard because like he was really dropping buckets he was really dropping buckets because i remember the first well the first series against the miami heat and the spurs he had like a 33 point game and he knocked down one of the game one of the game winning shots you gotta respect it he knew what he was doing but at the end of the day he was not the first option it was Mr. Fundamental, Timmy D. Yeah, see, this is I I one thousand percent agree with you. Honestly, what they should have probably done is just say, you know what, I'm gonna put the Hall of Fame for that team, put lump them all in, because that was a, they had what they had like what four or five rings, the Spurs, yeah, right? well, leading with G Ginobili, Tony Parker, and, and Tim Duncan, right? Yeah, they and, had five. and David Robinson, right? Yeah, they had five. It was like five, right? Yeah, five. Why don't they just 
put the, that team in the Hall of Fame because putting those individuals. <sighs> Tony Parker is a is a great player. Don't get it twisted. I, I, I love me some Tony Parker, but I'm, I mean, you put this into perspective. Magic Johnson, Larry Bird, Michael Jordan. Tony Parker, <laughs> like he we, man, see, like, see, see how wrong that sounds. About, man? Like that sounds so like crazy. Yeah, I was like, no, you can't. So wait, did you see who, who who's coming up for next year? Who's eligible? Yeah, I seen, I seen. Um, it was, I think it was like Joe Vince, K- Vince Carter, Vince Carter, well, Jamal. Well, we'll Crawford, talk about that. Jamal Crawford, crazy, <laughs> crazy. <laughs> Um, Joe Kim Noah Joe Kim Noah Joe Kim Noah Crazy Joe Kim Noah Look again I'm not saying No way I'm not saying they're bad players they're Just give no. I'm gonna give respect Where respect is due Because f- first of all Think Not that many people Actually make it to the NBA To begin with Right Who are we right They're NBA players They're 6'9 6, 6'10 6, 7 feet Trust me If I was 7 feet I'd be in the NBA too But anyways I'm not saying they were bad players But we're talking about The Hall of Fame That means you were by far like a standout. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. The best player on your team. You have some accolades that follows that. You know, all-star appearances, finals appearances, championship appearances, winning MVP. Like these are the, that's my criteria. So you put people like Joe Kim Noah, Jamal Croft. My man wasn't even starting. You know what's, do you know what's going on? Do you know what's going on? They're running out of players. <laughs> you know what? If they're running out of players, then skip this year. Then yeah, let, let, hey, out of we have all you guys zero, not enough. And yeah. you know, by doing that, you're gonna elevate the game. Now people are gonna try harder. You got people not even playing games and resting. Yeah, load like, management. What, what, like what is this? You think that you think the Spurs would allow Kawhi Leonard to have load management, man? I mean, he he does have bad knees, but still, man, like, bro. bro. So okay, look, Vince Carter was up, right? Yeah. I'm asking you a question. Vince Carter, Hall of Fame or Hall of Name? Now, again, Hall of Name is you're a great player. Everybody knows your name. You did some things, but you weren't that impactful to the game. You don't have the accolades to follow, but you did good. You know, you had a short run. You had a a decent run in the NBA or Hall of Fame where you were a standout player. You're known for a lot of things, right? You, you have a nickname, <laughs> you know, let's say you don't have a championship, but you, you were Mr. Consistent in, in your numbers. You know what I mean? Prime, you, well, you gotta understand prime, prime Vincenity. Okay. So to answer your question, I'll say he, he just made, just made it to that threshold of hall of fame to me. Cause based on what? Like, I look at his numbers. I really look at his numbers. Like he had, he had. What he averaged? Like, was it more than twenty points a game? Yeah, yeah. We got, we got to do some fact checking. Yeah, okay, yeah. He, he averaged the one year we averaged like twenty. Whoa, 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 whoa! Hold on, hold on. Think about this. Let's think about this. How many years do you have to qualify to be in the Hall of Fame? Minimum. What, what's your thoughts? Well, he played. He played like twenty years. Yeah, he played like years. twenty-two years or something like that. See, he was bouncing around because, you know, NBA money is not like any other money. So you want to stay in the NBA as long as you can, yeah. right? Yeah. But for those, I would say minimum 10 years evaluation. Because 10 years is going to tell me how consistent you were. 10 years in the NBA? Yeah. So Yami mean can, can get in there. Oh, you only play for what, like six? Like eight. Eight? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, look, my thing is this. If you lasted, I mean, it depends on what you did. But I say 10 years minimum. Were mm-hmm. you in the NBA for 10 years? Mm-hmm. And then for those first 10 years, what did you do? Mm-hmm. You know, Vince Carter, when I look at his numbers, yeah, they were crazy. You know, um, I think he averaged like 20 something points per game. He was the man of his team. Yeah. You know, his nick- nickname, Half Man, Half Amazing. The dunk contest is what really made him stand out. Do you know what's so crazy? He almost got Air Carter. What do you mean? Go ahead, tell the story. Yeah. Teach us what, so, what, what happened. So basically, was really so that slam dunk contest literally dictated who's gonna get that air air look that air name so when when michael jordan had his dunk from the feet one from the free throw line right 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 that really solidified himself as air jordan but there almost a time when they almost could have had air so he carter so he would come back behind his airness mm-hmm. 
Because of that one dunk contest? Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah. No, that's crazy. No, I can see it. Think about it. When have you ever seen somebody actually do the honey dip at that period? Look, you know what's crazy, actually, now I think about it? If we had social media the way we have it now, oh, oh for sure, oh he, he, he would probably have been on the same level as Jordan shoes-wise and, and the nickname and, mm -hmm. like, the fame. Because back then, they had cameras, you had the, the big ones. You had to yeah. do this. You know, I remember my dad having these when I was growing up. So, yeah, I think... That, that could have been possible. That could have been crazy. Air Carter. Oh, that's a nice ring to it, yeah, too, actually. Air, Air Carter. Mm -hmm. Does he make it into the Hall of Fame? In your opinion, yes. honestly. Yes. He makes it to the Hall of Fame? Yeah. Think about it. He also he also had a championship run. He's the Nets. He missed the, he missed the last shot against 76ers. Could have went to the finals, and we already know if he went to the finals. They, they ain't being Shaq and Kobe. He had a run with the Nets. He had a good run with the Nets with, with Jason Kidd. I'm not gonna lie. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, to be honest, like, it's no different because people see like James Harden as a Hall of Famer, but like, I'm not gonna dispute. Yeah, but it's like still like, you see him now. Yeah, but when he was killing the league, he I'm, was. Not, I'm, I'm not gonna dispute that because like I'm just saying I'm putting I'm comparing them to apples to apples to apples to apples. Like when it's all said and done, like I wouldn't. There's no real difference like james harden had a championship run he definitely did okay against he almost he almost won against the the golden state until he yeah, got but they blew it thanks yeah, they blew it. Thanks, thanks chris to paul chris paul <laughs> yeah yeah you let yeah. us down man yeah you let us down oh, all right wait 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 before we get into chris paul and james harden so is vince carter hall of fame or hall of name yeah i gotta get yeah he's a hall of fame he just reached that like i said he just reached that you threshold just got it Vince. just got it just, just got, got it. it you are a hall of fame player even though you were injury prone honestly there is no there is no other nickname like half man and half amazing they don't just give that title to just anybody exactly you know this guy honestly i i was rocking some and ones back then because i saw what vince carter could do you know so i will give him that for sure i will give him that now just to switch it over because i know football season's coming through mm -hmm. it's like well a week away yeah, when is September 9th? Something like that. Yeah. I don't know the date. I don't be paying attention. I'm sorry. I just know once it's Sunday and it's on, it's on. Yeah, I got I to gotta get your parlays in, man. Get your parlays, lose a lot of money. Hey, you bet. Tell me how that, Tell me how you're doing if you're betting because I don't know. I've been on a losing streak and that's why I'm like, this is the year I am not betting. But <laughs> yeah, you see. You I know I said every I said every week. <laughs> I know, that I know. All the time. Yeah, I said every week. Nah, but this time I'm going uh, to stick to my gun, you know. I'm gonna delete my uh, DraftKings app. <clears throat> Shout out to DraftKings. Now, fancy football—that's pretty big. It is. Are you? You don't participate, right? No, it's just—it's more of a. I don't want to. I don't want to be that type of guy that I will lose and they'll tell you to do certain things. Yeah, yeah. yeah I seen one of the things that we having online. It was like one was like one would the uh, the winner will get a the winner will get a girl pregnant what? and uh the loser will have to take care of the kid <laughs> <laughs> yo that's a, that's the craziest league that's i've ever was, heard that's my i was life. like yeah that can't happen nah i think there's also ones too where it's like if you come in last you have to get like a tattoo or something and it's a crazy tattoo like some people be um they'll tell you to like have like a a unicorn on your on your thigh or some shit like that, that? can you imagine Whoa. Whoa! Imagine, 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 imagine you going outside with your in like your going to the gym. You wearing your shorts. You're like, is that a unicorn? Like, nah, facts. <laughs> Especially from my black skin, man. I have to get like a white tattoo. Anyways, but um, now nah, but fantasy football. Let me ask you a question because I know the top five players this coming year. For those of you guys who don't, who need a you know some guys for fantasy football, I'm gonna give you the top five football players that they've been talking about. We got number one, Justin Jefferson. We got Christian McCaffrey. We mm. got Saquon Barkley, mm. we got Tyreek Hill, and we got Cooper Cup. So let me ask you a question: Out of those five players, right? Who you think is going to be like a, a sol like a solid pick to to help win your league, and who's going to be like an overrated player? Overrated, I'll say. You got McCaffrey, Jefferson, Barkley, Hill, Cooper Cup. Cooper Cup might be the overrated one because um, I feel like the. The Rams might have another bad season. Um, they might. Well, probably might. Um, I mean, it looks like they have some holes in their defense, yeah. which means what? You have to think pass a lot more, though. Yeah, that means... But you got to understand, like, that team is a bit old, don't you think? They're not really... 
Yo, old versus experience, man. You know what I mean? I get it. It's a young man's game, but Mr. He, he's Mr. Reliable. He's Mr. Consistent. He's Stafford's favorite player. Well, like how, I hear they be having like tea and, and crackers together, man. How is Stafford going? How is he going to do though? That dictates that everything. True. That is true. You know, his arm is 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 macaroni at this point. Yeah. You know, I don't know. I mean, I think Cooper Cup is. I think he won the Triple Crown one year, right? So, look, no other player has ever done that, and he's probably the biggest focus on that offense. So it's likely he can, he may be consistent. But I see your point. Honestly, for me, I think Justin Jefferson, as unguardable as he is, if I had the first round draft pick in my fantasy league, I'm not going Jefferson. I'm not. No. The only reason why is because one, they got rid of um, Cook on that team in yeah, Minnesota. Yeah, he, he went to the Jets. When you have That's a good a running game, when you when you have a good running back, it opens it up for the the passing game. So now mm -hmm. you took away your running game. That means they can double triple team Jefferson. I'm not going with that. And plus, you have to rely on Cousins. Cousins is not a bad quarterback though. He's decent, and he's, and that's, he's consistent. that's the thing. That's the thing. You don't, you can't have decent to get to the Super Bowl. You need spectacular. You need like that. Yeah, name. these quarterbacks are running these days. Every single quarterback is running. I don't know. Think about it, Mahomes. He's spectacular. You get what I'm saying? So it's like they need. It doesn't really matter if you have the have the proper receivers, because. What Mahomes is doing, it took Juju Smith to the freaking Super Bowl. Can you imagine? Yeah, Juju Smith. Shout out to Juju, <laughs> Juju Smith. with that championship. So all that all that is like all that just sweet to the air, man. It's like he's gonna have Kirk Cousins is just to me, he's a decent quarterback, and they're not gonna really go far just because he's a decent quarterback. Right, right. Honestly, out of that top five, I'm going with either two players. You can't go you can't go wrong with either of these two. Mm hmm Saquon Barkley. Of course. And Tyreek Hill, and I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. I'm gonna challenge you on that. Barkley, Mr. Terrible Contract. This guy, he has to like, he has to like run with the world this season for him to to get the money that he got in his contract, right? Mm -hmm. It's crazy. So he's gonna be, he has to be a workhorse. With him knowing that, he's gonna push the limit. Mm -hmm. And knowing that they're gonna probably franchise him next year as well. He knows he has to stand out, show out, and go crazy this year, or he's mm -hmm. not gonna get paid. And then Tyreek Hill, that man's talking about doing 2,000 yards this season. And honestly, with him saying that, I don't think it's gonna get done, but he's gonna, I feel like he's the type of player that can get close. So with him making that public, you know he's gonna be the one that's targeted. You know what I'm saying? I think he's gonna do a, he's gonna have his breakout year, like even, even more of a breakout year than he's ever had. I'm gonna agree, and then I'm gonna disagree. All right, go ahead. I agree you with you with the Tyree kill. You're gonna have an amazing year. But is the Saquon Barkley? I'm about to change that and put in Christian McCaffrey. Jesus. Because Christian that, McCaffrey. That team, as soon as they required okay. Christian McCaffrey, they legit became a Super Bowl contender. Okay. That whole team is going to rely on Christian McCaffrey to do it to really do his thing. And they got like they got deep, they got Debo Samuel, they got other okay. factors. Debo. Okay. George Kittle. Kittle's is still a beast. It's his is literally his world. Who's the quarterback? Oh, they just remember they just traded one of them. They just trade um Trey oh, Lance, Trey Lance. Uh, to okay. the Cowboys. Now they got now they got Brock Purdy. He's Brock good though. Purdy, Purdy. Oh, from uh Washington. No. What, what? He was like the like he was like a very low pick. Purdy, Purdy. And he was, was, he, was he there last year? Yeah, he was there Damn, last year. I don't know his really, name. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna break that story down. Like so he was like one of the very very low very low pick almost close to being undrafted um so he then jimmy got jimmy garoppolo got hurt then he just he's one of those guys that's like i want to use my time to shine you know what i'm saying so he had an amazing rookie rookie run so and they made it to i believe the conference finals okay yeah, until he got injured. His elbow got injured. So he couldn't really throw. You know what I'm saying? So they ended up just giving so the McCaffrey not, the ball all so the he's, time. So he's not like a pure passer, meaning they're going to do a lot of plays with Christian McCaffrey. No, that's a good... I see your point. Honestly, you can't go wrong with that either. Christian McCaffrey's a workhorse, and he's been, he's been consistent. But can, can he stay healthy? Is he, is he injury pro? Hmm, that's a great question. Barkley's Barkley's injured. Barkley's definitely he has sticks for bones. You got you gotta 
you gotta wait you gotta wait those options i'll take i'll yeah, take mccaffrey right. yeah as big as barkley is man he has like brittle yeah <laughs> my man you smack him man, yeah might go, might go down for six weeks <laughs> i mean he look man I, I'm, I'm rooting for him I'm a, I'm a big giants fan um I'm, I'm hoping this year they they have a, a breakout year they got the coaching down right they got the defense we have all these players we got waller we got the kid from tennessee who's a, a, a speed demon so we will see hopefully big out to the giants see hopefully you guys are doing good this year let me ask you a question because there's a player there's a lot of players to avoid in the draft that have high names too and i don't know about you because you never played fantasy but i did what's your thoughts on kyle pitts kyle pitts. he cost me my season by the way yo kyle man cost me my season man go ahead uh, he, yeah, I, I I agree. He's not gonna really do anything. I mean, special. he has a new quarterback now, but so that don't that don't really they ain't gonna do nothing. Okay. Um. Yeah, it's just he like think about it. Like he's a rookie. We got like a, a rookie quarterback. They're not really gonna go that far. They're still gonna be terrible because mm-hmm. still gonna have to learn the process. Right. Yeah, they're not. What do you? They ain't gonna go nowhere. Do nothing. So is he? Uh, I should avoid at least avoid him first, as well. at, at least for the first three, four rounds. Do I avoid him? Yeah. If you can, okay. if you can get like a steal for him, go for it. Okay. What about Devonte Adams? About, hell no. Devonte Adams not you gonna have do a good not, year. Do not pick that man. Wow. Do not pick that man. Wow. No, they ain't, he's not doing nothing. Why is that? Do you understand how bad he had a how, what a year he had last year? I thought he had a good year. Not really. And he had uh, the kid from uh, damn, I don't know his name, man. Damn, which one from from the Raiders? Yeah, Josh he, Jacobs. Nah, the quarterback. What's his quarterback's name? Derek Carr. Derek Carr. He left. I know, but I'm saying he did that. He still had a good season with Derek Carr. Doesn't that tell you that he can? It doesn't matter what QB, he's gonna find a way. Nah, not 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 agreeing. So with you're it. gonna avoid? Okay, so first two is it first round, second round, or, or wait to the third round for Devonte Adams? I went to the third round. Third round, damn. Yeah, you know, you know, he was the best. I think he was the best wide receiver just two years ago. Yeah, that's because he had Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. What about Jamar Chase? Is he gonna? Oh yeah, I'm picking that man. Is, wait, oh yeah. So you okay? So you tell me you're gonna pick Jamar Chase over Devontae Adams? I'm picking Adams? Jamar Chase over De- Devontae Adams. Man, isn't Bur- isn't Burrow hurt? Hmm. Ah, see, yeah. Joe Burrow's not. He just got hurt. Exactly. He just, yo, bro. He had like a cap, a cap string. Yo, that's tough, man. I never. I think I. I think I had a cap string once in my career. That's like six weeks. High school career. That's like six weeks. Bro, that's like six to eight weeks. I feel like that. I feel like any quarterback that's gonna just gonna come in, they're gonna automatically have a have a good season because that that offense they have is just so great so check this out right six to eight weeks injury right let's just say he's 100 percent game one he could be he could be but think about it, he he got that injury like two weeks into like two weeks two weeks ago so they're doing rehab right now okay so he'll probably be back like in a month but what i'm saying is like it's a long season yeah so you already got a i don't know grade one grade two type of injury and you have to play like 17 games i don't know if he's gonna stay healthy the entire the entire season which means jamar chase might not be your guy man mm, but Devonte adams will mr consistent doesn't matter what qb is on the table he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna turn into magic i don't know man i don't know how I about just... okay okay jonathan taylor jonathan taylor is he worth it well first three it, rounds it, it depends yes but you gotta understand how's he going to how's he gonna play is he gonna play like man fuck this y'all ain't paying me let me let me let me let me do what i do do what well I he want. got he, he's asking for a trade right yeah he's asking for a Did trade he get traded by now i don't know i mean this late in the season if he goes to another team he has to learn their offense yeah that's the timing is he in shape? Is he game shape? He hasn't played not one preseason game, feel, not one practice game. I feel like that's a real that's you said it right there. Um you said knowing the plays. Knowing the plays, they were like a, a big playbook. Yeah, I know. Bro, when, when I was in high school, 
They gave me a playbook. I'm like, man, I'm gonna figure this out. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hell like, no. <laughs> bro, when I was on lineman, I had to really, really look at certain things. Like, I had to look how they do counters, how they do stretch. Wait, lineman get plays too? Yes. I know this. What? Well, wait, I don't. I don't yeah. know. So Lyman, you guys get a, oh yeah, that makes sense. The run plays, right? Yeah, like let's say you're trying to run stretch. You gotta know which which where where are you which gap are you attacking? Okay. Which way you're blocking okay. counters. Wow. Okay. Which way you which way are you running? You can't just run outside. Right, 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 right. You gotta enter a certain gap. Right, right. To get an, to get either to get the end or the or the linebacker or the outside linebacker. Gotcha. So so which bench side were you on when you were studying the playbook? We bench side. I was on the <laughs> bench side. Bench side. Yeah, yeah. We're on the bench. Were you studying the playbook? Because you mastered it, right? Weren't you on the bench? Which 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 side was it? The left side or the right side of the bench? None of those. <laughs> None of those. <laughs> I'm just fooling you, man. Um, what about uh, who we got here? Uh, Pickens. Pickens. Is he overrated? You can't. You he, he, he needs him. He needs another year. Bro, this guy, I picked him twice in my fantasy and he let me down, man. Well, that team, well, you're talking about for the for the Steelers, right? Yeah. Yeah, he's that that duo with not with Najee Harris, they might they might do something. So nah, they might be a sleeper. So Nah, I heard I heard Najee Harris is, is on the decline actually. Really? Bro, like I don't know, maybe it's a, the offensive line, but I heard he's on the decline. That's just murmurs that they've been saying uh, during preseason because I think his backup is showing out too. So who, who, he may not start. He may start. I don't know. If that's but the case, then that's, I think he's risky. I think he's risky as well. That's always a talent then because he was the man in Alabama. Oh my God. Man. Huh, it, damn. It, times, man. Times have changed. Damn. So you got Devontae Adams, you got Kyle Picks, you got Pickens, you got Jamar Chase. And Jonathan Taylor, those are the people you kind of want to avoid. This at least for the first three, four rounds, right? Because if you pick them high, good luck. But I think the number one players should be between Barkley, Tyreek Hill, or Christian McCaffrey. All right, what's your thoughts on on the rest of the season? Like, who do you think is gonna win the Super Bowl this year? Like, who's a sleeper team that people are not talking about right now? Well, 49ers. Um, if they get the act together and they don't lose games, the Bills, you gotta you gotta really focus on the Bills. Wait, so 49ers is number one. Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead. Then I got obviously you can't sleep on Kansas City. Well, you said the Bills first. A uh, uh, Bills over Kansas City or Kansas City over the Bills? Kansas City over the Bills. Okay, Kansas I, didn't, City. I didn't put it in order. Okay, so. got you. Um, what else? What else? The Bengals. Okay, the Bengals, Joe Burrow, hurt. You know, I don't know, man. Okay. Hmm. What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? I'll say. What about Baltimore Ravens? Are they gonna go far? I don't know. They got they got weapons now. They got weapons, but it's like it's gonna come down to Lamar Jackson. Is he gonna ball out? You have a quarterback that was an MVP. You have a superstar that, or well, used to be a superstar, ODB, o o OBJ. You have a championship court, um, 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 court, um, coach. What else do you need? You don't know. That's how football. That's what football is. You yeah. can get all those pieces. And star, you stick. got a star tight end with, with Andrews. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they can make some noise, but it's up to them. Cause you know what I'm saying. I feel like they should. They should win. They should contend for the Super Bowl. Okay. But I'm not. I'm not counting my horse. I'm not counting my horses. Okay. Now, not to switch sports, but I know you're a big soccer guy, right? Of course. Shout out to Manchester United. They I won bet. today. Okay, okay. I'm a Chelsea guy. I don't know about any of I don't that. Know. I'm a Chelsea I don't guy. Know. I don't know. Guys, <laughs> guys, 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 are, guys are spending uh -huh. too much money. Okay, but check this out though. I know Messi has been in the headlines. He's been killing it since he's come to Miami, right? Killing? Killing it. Killing is a strong word. Um, When you are in uh, a, <laughs> a, a league where it's like it's like LeBron going to the G League. Is he killing? If he drops fifty, if LeBron goes <laughs> to the G League and he's scoring at least eighty points, he's killing it, right? But if he's making like if he's scoring thirty points, but he just make people look stupid, I'm still saying he's killing it. So, bro, to get on the soccer field and do what he's doing, making bombs look relevant, stars, I think he's killing it. You gotta understand, the MLS has been 
It's always been terrible. I okay. don't. I don't watch them, and I watch soccer. <laughs> I don't watch them. I feel like it's a big waste of time for me even looking at that. <laughs> I hate the MLS. You gotta understand. Is it? Is it big? Is it, to choose between either watch the WNBA, I will gladly choose. I will gladly watch a WNBA Stop game for much of the MLS game. All right, so let me give you this scenario. All right, what would you rather have, or what would you rather watch? Would you rather watch the WNBA or the MLS? If you're saying the MLS is so, what would you rather watch, the WNBA or the MLS? I will gladly watch the WNBA. You're bugging. I will never ever. Down my down my TV to say, oh, let me go watch the MLS. Well, wait, oh hold God. on, hold on. I'm not Hell saying no. I'm not. Look, shout out to all the women basketball players out there. I'm not saying like I'm not trying to put y'all down, but facts is it's just not as entertaining as people think it is. But you're saying you would rather watch WNBA than watch Messi play? Yes, because I know personally, bugging. Because me personally, I never really like. I'm gonna really put this put this out there. He only he only went there because he's he doesn't want the competition to be honest. He wow. has been in he's, to, okay. to be honest, Messi Messi's kind of for the past few years he's kind of been in farmers league and farmers wow. league back to back. Wow. Okay. The French league is is a farmers league. Okay. So then and the MLS is way worse than a farmers league. Okay. So are you okay? So is he the goat in your eyes or is it Ronaldo? Ronaldo. So far. Ronaldo is your goat. Yeah. Messi got a World Cup under his belt. Yeah. That don't mean nothing. Well, well, yeah, sure. What? That's that's nice. What? Yeah, it's nice. But like, let's let's really think about it. That's the only the only debate that slipped that really made them. I'll say, off off part is just because of the World Cup. Wait, when you man. really thinking about it, like, Ballon d'Ors, yeah, Champions League, Ronaldo has that. But let's really think about it. Who had the greatest peak, dominant? Pure dominance. Well, look, you you watch a lot more soccer than I do, obviously, right? But I'll tell you something, man. When I watched that World Cup, and shout out to Mbappe, because I've never seen a play like that ever. Messi held it down. I'm look, man. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a cut you right there. Um, I don't know. That Argentinian team held it down. Those guys were nice. We're talking about Enzo Fernandez. We got freaking Mark Allister that now plays for Liverpool. Okay. These guys are good. Wow. They ain't trash. Okay. They're really, really good. So you're telling me that team. That team really gathered around so Messi. Is, so if Messi wasn't on the team, are they still winning that, that, that World Cup? Yes or no? If Messi wasn't on the team, are they winning the World Cup? Yes or no? No. Okay then. No. But okay. They got to stand. So Messi Because they wouldn't have they wouldn't have that drive to play for Messi. You know what I'm saying? They won't have that drive to. Yeah, Me- think about it. Think about it. He's been Messi has been. The the thing about Messi was like he couldn't we couldn't win, in the, he couldn't win in the international level. Okay, that was that was one of his biggest plagues. Okay, he kept on losing, kept on losing to a point where he decided, yeah, I'm gonna retire. Okay, I'm gonna retire. Then he decided came back. Okay, then, that's when you started seeing a shift where. These teams was getting around just to play for Messi. When you look at that team, they all was like, they was like, it was like unbeaten, like sixteen wins unbeaten, against him in the World Cup. That team, that team was like, that was a unit. They okay. wanted to. That was the end goal was to help Messi win that. Okay, so okay, look, win that World Cup. So final score, you're picking a player to run your team. You only got one option, Messi or Ronaldo. You only have one option. Final score. Who you picking? Ronaldo. Jesus. Ronaldo. Hey, guys. Let me know what you think. He's picking Ronaldo. I say Messi because he has the accolades. And my man is Mr. World Cup. So, with that being said, you let us know what your what your, your thoughts are. We are the final score. Stay tuned. We got more to go. Like I said, we're going to be talking about who deserves to be in the Hall of Fame. We're going to be talking about your favorite team, the favorite trending topics. And again... We're here as fans to make you guys entertained, so make sure you subscribe, check in live. Take care, guys.